has hit eight pipes in three games. So inches away from being the top goal scorer on this Carolina team. McGovern and North Carolina with an immediate answer. Take sort of inside roll question mark just gets into his defender and puts it right back. Down goes Duke. Wow. I did not expect that to happen. Fantastic bump for the Ivy League. Let's see if Princeton can get, get another one here. Careers early in this season are making big impacts for both of these teams. Got a good look, but it bounced against Michael G. and Fercaro, who is number three in the nation in save percentage. One of the top goaltenders to start the year. Krieg off his line. From 50 yards out. Guys going, watch this. Full field. Coulter Mackesy steps over the line to help the clear. Just Now we will. You think 91 in black and orange has it here. He's got the hot stick. Coulter Mackesy cashes in on the man up. And the junior net. Coulter Mackesy. Time room bullseye. That's his sweet Hall of Famer, Dave Petromala, who's on staff here at the Tar Heels. Curling around the cage and scoring. Another star oh, freshman on this Tar Heels team. He has hit eight pipes. Owen Duffy, one-on-one, -on -one, taking his matchup. It's him, no slide, gets in front of the goal, finishes around the... Surveys the field, finds Owen Duffy. Good ball movement on this possession by the Tar Heels. Petromala tried to duck it inside to Tillman. And English, the star short stick defensive midfielder. He's a threat to score as well. And the Tar Heels, defense to offense, perfectly placed. Back to back goals for the freshman to tie. Stick catching that in that low hitch motion, right? Gets improved angle upfield. That's a big back committing. The penalty, so Princeton back on the man up where they are one for one today with the extra man advantage. This is Ryan Levy in attack mode, has a step, couldn't finish it. One dodge hold the ball offense right now for Princeton. I'd love to see them dodge one hard dodge and move to the next guy right away. Double team comes in, the North Carolina. DeMarco, not a great angle here, feeds it off. Beautiful goal, Owen Duffy, a hat trick for the freshman. Jay. Pipe puts Duffy's defender in a really tough spot, but notice Duffy, he doesn't just stand there at X. He starts to push up field, and that allows him to gain it. Seconds left, the Tigers have already scored one from out deep, but couldn't get a shot on Cage. This ball is dead, so a free possession for a Tigers team that lacked possession in the final eight minutes of that first quarter. So win the ball back, still five seconds on the man up. That's a huge ground ball out of a freshman number two, Nate Kabiri there to ret retain possession for Princeton's offense on man up. Goes low and places it perfectly to beat Krieg. That Nate Kabiri's not gonna get an assist on this play, but that Coulter Mackesy goal does not happen if the freshman doesn't sink his teeth. When it hits May, you're gonna look at this game, Princeton, North Carolina, this head-to-head -head matchup for a potential at large. Looking to pass first and be in a shooting position, I, I think as the point man, let's keep an eye on that for the rest of this game. Good opportunity here. Kabiri cashes in on the man up, taking advice. He's a guy, high IQ. I think he realizes that he's had this shooting space the whole game, and he wasn't going to give. I just want to see him get the glue. Slip it and slide it again. How, how, as a player, what do you do when you're playing in pouring angels? Well, well, Jay, the, the Tigers starting to roll. Tommy Barnes nets that one. And then puts his shoulder in, leans in. Right there, and then step away. Wraps around too long, right? It just makes the job on the defense too easy. It is Owen Duffy's night. A breakout game. A star is born. And unfortunately, tonight was the night that Owen Duffy 
decided to go off for unfortunately for Princeton's defense. So <laughs> back and forth we go here in Chapel Hill. Almost another high heat. Blue Devils and maybe the Ivy League can sweep the ACC on the road here. Mackesy goes righty this time. Really re-injecting life into a proud Princeton program. You look at their last two seasons, championship weekend in 2022, Ivy League night to Penn. It, it's crazy, but it's smart, Jay, right? If you can get a couple of wins for any of those teams, even if you lose, it's going to bolster your arm. Inches away from tying the game at six, Duffy. Under five minutes remaining in this first half. Bouncer goes wide. Levy curls around the cage. Very patient North Carolina possession here. McGovern goes low. Great stop. G and from though Princeton lost that game to Maryland. G and Fercaro had 20 saves in that game. So he comes in with a lot of confidence. He's read it well. And the Tigers cash in. Kabiri unleashes a flamethrower. This is classic. Jim Mitchell offense, Princeton office here. Someone popping out after the Dodge has gone down the alley in offense. I'm not going to give you anything easy. Duffy trying to do it. Kabiri again. The back-to-back -back goals for the pride of Georgetown Prep. Backside credit to Quinn Kramer. Just setting that screen, getting in the way enough for Nate Kabir to just pop the guy in the crease, pop out behind you to set up for a shooting opportunity. Back to Benny off the face-off win, and Princeton is flying. After Instead of cross passing across his body, he continues on, goes on a pump fake. Mackesy, he might as well. Diving in Carolina. 10 seconds for the Tar Heels. Nifty and they catch the in. Ball. Into the side netting, no good. Left off, McMeekin. Got it straight to Kabiri, got a clean look, couldn't finish it. Krieg, a big save. At Princeton beat UNC. If another team beats, beats Princeton, it's not as good as beating UNC, but they take that into the calendar and it helps the RP. Allowing nine goals. And Good with a big opportunity here. Kind of surprised to see that, Jay, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not sure how many of these goals were. Well, Princeton picks up where they leave off. On the backside, confusion by UNC. I'm not quite sure why they're not getting out to Kabiri. They know that he's had the hot hand. In 2022, followed up with Ivy League champs last year in 23. They've got a young team full of confidence, and they've got a couple of really good recruits. For Creek's fault at the end of the day, as opposed to UNC putting him in a bad spot. And, and what does this do for his confidence going forward? I mean, eventually, you think you're going to go back to him. Princeton outscoring North Carolina 7-1. to one. Since Owen Duffy had those three goals in a row. I feel tonight. Barely called his name at all. As it here has a step. Curls around and scores. James Matt Carolina's first goal in 15 minutes. Boy. Believes that he has the size and power to do this consistently as I think he does. But right here, right? I know his defender fell a little bit, but. Up, which again, that's against their DNA. But Coulter Mackesy, watch that quick release. He's fading down the eight points in the season. It's fourth best, and the three above him are all Michael Sowers. So one of the best to ever put on a pretty clogging up the crease a little bit too much. Petromala, high heat over the kick. Good ball movement, and North Carolina cashes in. 
Logan McGovern notches his second goal of the night. At this point, going man up, being down to five goals. Logan McGovern dropping his hands, pulling a load of... Has not made the adjustment. Jay, the, the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Petrabala! Back to back goals for North Carolina and the Tar Heels. I'm like that too. I can shoot as well. We knew he could. Snappy release, very. Loose ground ball. There's a scrum for it. And Princeton emerges with it in the last eight minutes. Great save. Good who came in. You get a cutter on the crease. It was none of that, right? It's, it's just making it really difficult for UNC to score goals. With a head of steam, big shot, finds the box, and into the score sheet. In the middle of the field, I think that's number 20, is that Quinn Kramer making UNC pay, right? They, they drop the ball on the other end. They, you know, if Princeton scores this year, it's the same story we're talking about. Long pull goal, defense into offense. Shine and it is on. He said, All right, all right, you guys don't want to guard me. You're gonna find out. Right, he takes it down the heart of the defense. No one slides, he puts it off stick. That's a fantastic take control of the offense, take accountability, and start to put Duffy in better positions to utilize his skill set. Big face off win to start this fourth quarter. Tire goes right to get you in the butt. Logan McGovern feeds it way over the cage of Gian for Carl. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Tillman had to go up with it. And Gian four goals to his name tonight. The freshman in attack mode again. Double team comes. The extra pass, got a good look. Kabiri, with the shot clock winding down, feeds it behind the cage. That's a shot clock violation. Tigers now a six goal lead on the defender. He's, he's kind of hedging towards McAsee because he's concerned. There, there's a lot of concern when you have a short stick matchup on someone that's, if he has a short stick matchup, he almost doesn't even have to, to, to dodge. He can just kind of prod and that slide's going to come. Inches away from that counting is a goal. And they have no time to be playing this cat and mouse game. You, you got to see McGovern. Attack aside, right? Make a decision. Duffy goes behind the back, but missed five by six, but really tight turnaround. Noon Sunday against a Duke team that lost to Penn. They're going to be hungry, motivated to make sure they don't lose two in a row. <laughs> McAsee to Burns. Oh, it's a 12 goals between the three attackmen. They are feasting. Eddie in the class of 25. Feels like... Matt Madelon really has this thing close to being back to the the dynasty under Bill Tierney. Obviously, you got to. They're going to have to think about who are the leaders in this offense. We know Owen Duffy, right? We know that he can beat his matchup. We know that he can feed. We didn't see it tonight. Carvalho pulls one back there. And for Carolina, they've got a quick turnaround, too. We've focused a lot on Princeton Duke, but they basically. On offense, and hopefully Owen Duffy can continue to expand his game as the, the season and the weekend goes on. Big road win for the Princeton. Princeton outscores UNC 12-5 over the final three quarters.